Tornado! What an oath! Tornado! What an oath! Tornado! What's up guys? This week we are trying something new and we are going to be doing random questions. Out of the squid. I'm Tristan Holman. I'm Gerald Gaines. I'm Chase. And I'm Nick. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Crazy white guy! Yeah! It's Johnny! What's up guys? This is John. What's your last name? Eaton. Eaton. J.R. <laughs> As Parker Smith on Eaton's Big Bang! Another crazy white guy! Yeah! Okay. Alright, he's so white. Alright. Oh, I got it. Alright. First question. Question me. Would you rather have a tiny rhino or a giant hamster? <laughs> Personally, I don't know. I'd, I'd like a giant hamster. I'd like, I'd like a tiny rhino because I'd ride it around and I'd be like, Nyang. If you could. It, I'd ride it to tuck Wait, wait, how there. tiny? I was thinking like tiny, like that. Like switch yeah. spots? Well, like the hamster is like the size of a rhino? Yeah. And well, I thought yeah. about, like tiny is like a dog. So, I mean, if it was like that, no. if it was like a hamster. No, let, how about they, like, they like switch spots? Switch I, I, I want a huge. Hamster, that'd be freaking awesome. But they might like eat you alive. Yeah, that thing would fucking kill you. Yeah, hamster. Oh, it'd you be could, awesome. Okay, if you could tame a giant hamster, I'd definitely choose hamster because I'd ride that thing to school. That but if it was a tiny rhino the size I of a hamster, I would use your parking pass. I mean, you could ride I'd still again. go with a giant hamster. Yeah, you can put a license plate on your on your hamster. You can put a little student decal on it so you won't get a ticket. We can shave its butt and then tattoo it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna write? <laughs> Red, no. Uh, it could be custom. Uh, go ham. <laughs> go in. <laughs> I'm right. a giant hamster, dude. Why not a small Next rhino? That'd question. be cool. Because I'm going to try a hamster because... You could, you could, you could, like, you could, you could, you, you could make that hamster, you could make that giant hamster blaze, and that'd be the funniest thing ever. Seeing a big what? ass hamster really high, like, you cannot like, make a hamster high. Yes, you can. You can make anything. You can high. make anything high. But I mean, like, what are you gonna do, like, break? <laughs> well, you can see a hamster. Or, okay, like in neighbors, uh, they they hot housed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put it in a house and hot house. Oh, my lord. You, did you think about how much you weed can't they fit use? the hamster in a house? You know what? I think it's going to be the size of a rhino. What? It's going to like stand big house. You can fit it in the garage. Have you been to Norwich? <laughs> <laughs> big houses. What if, somebody was, houses. <laughs> what if somebody was trying to break into your house and You're then they see like a little bitty rhino <laughs> running around? They're like, what? what? I would walk it on a leash. Like <laughs> <laughs> a little baby leash. Like, <laughs> if I'd poke it with a toothpick if it did something wrong. I couldn't do it with a bat. Like, what the fuck? It would die. It's the sound of a hamster. Big ha oh, I think I was talking about the big hamster. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd hit the big hamster with a bat, not the baby <laughs> rhino. Why would you hit a hamster with a bat? Even if it was Because he's big. pulling some dumb shit, he'd get hit. Oh, <laughs> oh, John, John the guest of the show. Well, no, you're official now. No. I'm, an, I'm official. God, I have heartburn. I have AIDS. Okay. What? <laughs> If you could go back to fifth grade and relive your life up to now, would you and why? <laughs> I would you? Yeah. I've no, I thought about this question so much. Like, at different points in my life, I've actually thought about this question several times. But in some, so sometimes, shoot, man, you gotta shoot she the lens. Shoot the camera. Oh, shoot the lens. <laughs> no, you suck. <laughs> None. But like, at different points in my life, I would. I would definitely go back. Like, I, if it's just, if it's just like, you know, you're you're in those times of your life when you're just like, man, I wish I could just relive everything and right all my wrongs. Yeah. But then when you're in the moment of like, like right now, like if I relive my life, I might not make it to this like moment. Like a year know, from now, everything would be different. Saying, like if, if it was back then, like like in fifth grade, I would have never thought of <coughs> sitting in my house with like five other guys riding. Four of the guys making YouTube videos. <laughs> that's, yeah, I mean, that's for sure. I've, I like I've wanted to do this for about yeah. only like two years now. I wanted to do this for a while too. But I never thought I'd from fifth grade. Fifth oh. grade I thought I was going to be like a DJ or something. I mean, DJ teach What's me. really attractive about this entire thought is my middle school years suck. Yeah. Mine did too. Mine were terrible. Everybody's middle school years were so awkward and weird. I, ha I hated middle school altogether. It was that freaking awful. I hated high school. I like high school. I love high school, dude. Yeah. Just kidding. Uh, junior year sucked. Last year sucked. Like, it was Freshman so year was really Freshman, years Freshman year was Not chill. Really. Sophomore really? year was probably my favorite. Senior year's going pretty good right now. But junior year, it's like I had two AP classes. Every class was freaking hard. It was ridiculous. 
it was just and it was our first year on the eight period from the four block and just i don't know it was just so hard it's but better, this year i have like i have okay i start off with spanish two which is hard like the first period but then they're like yeah in there half the time <laughs> but up until seventh period i do like nothing I've, yeah i've choir choir pe coach robert's class it's easy and then, and then I have Bellin, and then I have seventh period at AP Environmental. But yeah, this this year's going really pretty good. good. Yeah. What about you, John? Well, I was really immature, like from fifth grade. You still are. Yeah, I still we all am. are. <laughs> I mean, we I really just, are. I made a lot of mistakes from fifth grade. Like I try to stop my parents' divorce. You know. I would try. Sorry, John. Yeah. Yeah, that was fifth grade. This was like one of those fake boobies. John, oh, I'm sorry. John, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. John, I'm sorry. Uh, John. I love you. Uh, it got, no. so, it got so, so serious. Another so so testosterone on this guy. Gerald Terry is real. Yeah. Gerald, he grew it out over one? the week. Huh? Oh, you were on the one yeah, in the woods. Yeah. He grew it over the week. When I didn't <clears> call him a black guy. Anyways. Bosley worked. Chase, you get it. What about y'all? Wait, uh, would you go back to fifth grade and relive your life? Oh, no. Nah. Oh, so question. hard. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, Yahtzee! Yahtzee! Like you said, like you said, certain points, yes, and yeah. certain points, freaking no, because yeah. they were awful. And like, why would I want to? But also, I, you have to think about if you did really relive, you did if you more. did relive your life, you would make. Go, all these new incredible moments. Go back and experience all those things again. Yes, change some stuff. Yeah, but you wouldn't change, be where you are now. Yeah, change I mean, it. Like there's. I'll get a head start on the ACT. There's, there's, there's like there's maybe here. two things that I would change that wouldn't affect anything that happened now. But other than that, then like that. Yeah. Honestly, when I was in fourth grade, I was like John size. I was really really skinny, and then all of a sudden fifth grade hit, and I was like, I was yeah. like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I changed, I changed like lifestyle oh, I was, habits. I was like Spike and John. I was incredibly skinny. You like, got fat. I just yeah. it was like over a summer. I just it just hit me. I, I was, was like, my middle school years. I, I okay. When I was a little kid, I was really skinny. And I have a theory that my mom took me to the doctor and like gave me fat pills or something. Fat because <laughs> because I was it's super terrible. skinny. And my mom, I remember my mom told me like when I was younger that she took me to the doctor because I was so skinny. And then I got. As long as I can remember, I've been chubby since, like, just as long as I can remember. But I've seen pictures of when, like, I was really skinny as a little boy. But then in seventh grade, I was pretty big in seventh grade, and I lost <coughs> a lot of weight. And then I got pretty skinny the summer after seventh grade, but then I got chubby again, but not nearly as bad as I was. I'm pretty fat right now. I've gained a lot of weight. <laughs> Question, let's go. Okay. Alright, let's go. Huh. What dummy. was the craziest thing that has ever happened to you? Damn. Crazy. Okay, by far the craziest thing that's ever happened to me is the bee flying into my ear this what? summer. Craziest thing that's ever happened to me is when I got pregnant in seventh grade. Man, I got pregnant in eighth grade and it sucked. The craziest thing that happened to me, I saw boobs for the first time in like seventh grade. It, it shocked me. Like in person? Good. Yeah, like. I remember the first time I saw a boob, dude. I freaked out. I was like. <laughs> I was like, what do I do with it? <laughs> I like it, but it's so close. Oh. It's so close. It, it, anyway. Let's talk about boobs. When was your first boob? Seventh grade. I was like 12. Oh, damn. <laughs> I think I was in fifth grade before I first saw a real Like, no. I saw some was... fat girl, like... That doesn't count, they're fat. No, I know. <laughs> but like, like the first time I saw so a boob, neat. first time I saw a boob in person, I saw this, this fat girl at the beach, a wave hitter, and like... We were talking and I was like, <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I went on a cruise. Uh, when was that? My seventh grade? Year? After my seventh grade year, I went on a cruise. They had a flow rider. Do y'all know what a flow rider is? The rapper. Yeah. It's no, very close. But it's a wave simulator. It waves. The, it rides the waves like it rides the girl. Yeah. Exactly. But it's like a wave simulator, and like I. Kid you not, those guys that work that have seen more boobs than you will ever see in your entire lifetime. Ever. I they, have. They, oh, girls fall constantly oh, and just the wave similarly just rips off their. My. My. My answer includes first boob I saw and the crazy thing. Your aunt? One of the crazy. No. Your first, aunt's boob? first boob I saw and one of the things. And, <laughs> and one of the craziest things I saw. 
What? That was, I was like, that was our question. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I was on the beach, right? Hunting for right. crabs. Hunting right. for crabs. Right. When I was like, oh, ghost crab seven. You were hunting boots. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your story. Okay. Your story. So look, I was I was on the beach with my grandfather, and my grandmother, and my mom. Play with the beach. You know, I was just doing a normal little kid Beard things. Stuff. And, Shut the fuck <laughs> up, Tristan. Doing normal okay, little sh- doing normal little kid things, you know, hunting for crabs. Okay, You're about to get this fucking <laughs> hook over here. <laughs> sorry. I was doing little kid things. Just hunting for some snow crabs, you know? <laughs> what? And, <laughs> and look, I, I was chasing, I was chasing this big crab. I'm talking about it was like this big around, right? I was trying to get him in my net. Well, I was running over there to like, towards the beach rental chairs for the condos, right? And I knew I heard somebody over there like, eh, like making some awkward noises. <laughs> and see, at the time, I didn't know what sex was, right? You know, I was like seven, but they were sex noises, apparently, yeah. So I, I got over there where that big ass crab went. He went under a uh, set of chairs, and I looked up. When I looked up, there was two, a, dr- a fucking dr- Cajun drunk couple having passionate sex. Like, like were, legit sex. Legit sex. And they had, a blanket, they had a blanket over them, but only from like the waist down. And I just got the fattest Cajun lady's titties fucking <laughs> flashed at me. And she's just like, yeah, I'm drunk, ah, titties! I was like, oh my god, no. I, I ran over to my mom. Oh. I ran over to my mom crying. No, 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 I, couldn't no, no. Do, I couldn't do it. It was scary. No, but, uh, that was crazy. Like, crazy. Imagine being seven and seeing some fat, drunk Cajun woman, three hundred pounds plus, and her titties flying <laughs> Just everywhere. Getting plowed. Getting plowed by her husband. Like, Not the tap of screen. It's pretty wild. Tap what? What? There's a screen on her. What? No. <laughs> I was talking about. You want to tap her screen? What you do? I want to tap your mom's screen. Taking the time. No, Next, what's the what's the craziest thing that's ever happened? I said when I saw boobs, they're great. They're like that was your crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it was another twelve year old, so like she was flat chested. I was like, oh, you're a girl, so I guess it's like different. So I just like, <laughs> like just poking. Screen. Child you're sitting there poking some titties. Like, that's child. I didn't know what do you do with them. Like what? What, wait, what wait, did you see? What? I was like twelve, and I was like, your chest looks the same as mine, but yeah, I want to like, touch it. <laughs> <laughs> You, it you have taste buds on your butthole or diarrhea your pants every time you smelled someone else's fart. You can tell who wrote this. It's obviously Nick. No. Your mind is Nick. so creative. Like <laughs> <laughs> Creative? That's one word to describe it. You gotta shoot Wait, it, what is that about diarrhea? Do do? Or would you diarrhea your pants every time you smell someone else's fart? I kinda want mac and cheese. <laughs> Wait, what? what? I'm well, just I that will... that can be answered in a very very gruesome way by me. Because what? if I had if I had taste buds on my butthole and someone was like, "Hey," I was like a waiter and they were like, "Hey, my food tastes like shit. Yeah. My food's awful." And I was like, "Oh, really? Your food tastes bad?" And they're like, "Yeah, go get me something else." And be like, "Hold on, let me taste it real quick." Smack, <laughs> put my butt right on the food and just go to town tasting on it. And then, hey, 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 hey. okay, your chair just broke on us. Okay, yeah, imagine, imagine, <coughs> oh my just, God. just think about There's that a loophole. There's a loophole, wild. though, to every situation. And I would do taste buds on the butthole because you can surgically get them removed. Boom. Then, how would you taste stuff? So no, you also had some on your tongue. Oh, then what's so the that? Case? wasn't in the question. Yeah. I never said it. You didn't have someone. Well, you never said that you did. Yeah, man. You, just, I, you can't. You want, do you want? Do you? Want you don't to take go? away unless it says take away, bro. I, I, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but how would you get? That would be an awkward surgery. How would I'm you just get saying, like, removed? I would probably have the taste buds as well, because then I would like, like. I mean, who just wants to shit themselves every time they smell a fart? <laughs> like, no. I mean, just don't fart. But no, it, if you smell, you smell it, any fart. anybody else's. Wear those mask things, you know? We're not oh, good at no, no, no. yeah. gas mask? You wear a gas mask? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Okay, so that's the loophole. You could do like plugs or something. Well, what if it just comes out of nowhere and you don't realize? That's why you're wearing the mask. That's how your mom got pregnant. I almost said something. <laughs> I almost said something exactly that. I almost said something about being pregnant. That's so weird. <laughs> that's I literally almost said something about being pregnant. Take, take take the funny route and have the taste buds in your butt. Like that's cool. That sounds fun. That's, that's, that's not even cool. What if, what if every time you <laughs> went to the bathroom, I want both. Like, you, you just know, like taste that. that. Oh, John made a good point. What if you took a dump and then you tasted yeah. your dump coming out of your butt? Okay, that's wrong. Why did I even say this? 
You would taste what? it. You would take. You take a dump like, and you would taste it. Major crap. You would taste. You have it. taste buds on the outside of the rim of your butt. That's the point of the question. <laughs> I yeah. forgot about that. I, I forgot don't want the that. taste buds. Well, no. Would you have taste buds on your butthole, hey. meaning every time you crap, well, you taste it? I get to, I get to, or, I get to retaste or would you die really? I about funny food. shit. Not that. Yeah, I, 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 I get to retaste my food, yay. Oh. <laughs> You're <laughs> sick. <laughs> You're <laughs> sick in that. <laughs> okay, Tristan. Next, we'll do one more question with Tristan. Let's do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's one more question. I'll take this one out since I just read that. Yeah, Tristan. You got a ball out of the third of the camera. Fondest slash worst memory of your middle school years. <laughs> oh, God. Damn! Okay. No. no. <laughs> my worst no. memory, let's start with, let's start with worst. Uh, my worst memory no. of middle school is really being fat. That was, that was <laughs> freaking terrible. Um, I was humongous, as I've talked about many times, and I really wanted to be a DJ. <laughs> and... Okay. I'm DJ TJ. That's where it came from. Anyway, Wait, have, what, seriously? That's where it came from? You yeah. wanted to be a DJ? I have a whole bunch of DJ that is so stupid. stupid. I know. Me, I and Tristan, made... me and Tristan used to text, like, when, or not like that. Hey, babe. <laughs> hey, 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 babe, what are you sexy. doing today? Hey, you spin it, you spin in the hey. records? Yeah, man, I'm about to no, start, like, bro. Me Yo, first, brother DJ. When me and Tristan first started becoming friends, he, like, tried to get me into dumb stuff, and I was like, no. Nah. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like, uh, it says like, yeah. I was like, uh, whatever, but I guess I'll listen to it. And he was like, dude, check out the sick ass mix I just made. <laughs> and he like, I was he like sending the link to it to be on Facebook. Yeah, like, and I was my, like, my family would be like, honestly, they'd be like, cool. And I'd really be thinking, this kid there. is such a loser. Like, why, 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 like, why is my nephew doing this? <laughs> I was sitting there like bumping some Tris DJ TJ beats, and one was actually pretty cool, but all the other ones were. Well, shit. I mean, like, but it's uh, it was really fun to me, but anyway. I was like really, really Tristan. I know this is pretty awkward, but I remember like on the first few weeks of sixth grade, you'd always like throw up. <laughs> yeah, the whole first yeah. my whole first semester of sixth grade, I was sick with some like I had a cyst in my uh, nasal That's cavity, okay. yeah. and it made me like vomit, have migraines all the time, and all that sort of stuff. So I was out of yeah. semester. So that's really you cool. started out middle school. This like is that. me in eighth yeah. grade, and I'm now in tenth grade. It's not gonna focus. I don't think it's gonna focus. It's not. You have to manually do it. Manually. Anyways, you can see that face. But I'll do mine. My best memory, probably. Mm, I, I'm, it's probably not my best, but I'm just thinking of it since you mentioned fat. When I lost all my weight, like for some reason, our school pictures. I took my school pictures seventh grade, like in the fall, and I was fat. And then over the winter and into spring, I lost all my weight and like I got really skinny. And um, our pictures came into the school and like I don't know it. It made me really happy when I saw the picture of how fat I was, and like I looked in the mirror, and I was really skinny. And I don't know why our pictures came in so late. That's how I feel now. But um, my worst memory. Oh, this is funny. Okay, I was. It was sixth grade. I was. It was after lunch, and we all went to the restroom, and I was peeing in the urinal. For some reason, my best friend David came up to you and jerked off. Jerked you off. Exactly. He jerked you off. No. My best friend David, who I'm yeah, still I'm best friends with, yeah. he came up to me, shout out by the way for, this is a terrible story though, he came up to me, as I was peeing in the urinal, with my wiener out, came up to me, he came up to me from behind, grabbed me, shook me off of the urinal, and yelled, TORNADO! And I peed, <laughs> I can see David doing that. I, listen to this, I peed all over Elliot. Like, Dang. Elliot. <laughs> Elliot, I'm, I'm sitting there with my winner, like, kissing <laughs> all over Elliot. And I'm like, what's going on? And so, El this, also, this kid, oh, did y'all know Alex Payne? Yeah, he was yeah. he was behind Elliot, like, blocking him with, like, a, sh like a human shield. And Elliot gets pissed, my piss all over his jacket, and he has to call his mom. And he has to call his mom and be like, I need a change of clothes. And they pissed all over me. And... So yeah, that was the my that was probably my worst memory. That's freaking hilarious. It's, it's yeah, right. also funny. It could also be my best. That. It could also be my best. That sounds like, like a freaking hilarious. Movie. When it happened, I was so embarrassed. But like a day later, it was it, was, it turned into my best memory. So. <laughs> what about y'all? But my worst is probably which was my, oh my oh sixth, don't get me started on her. Which she was my third. Don't period. Start on Ms. McGee, she was my third period <laughs> math teacher in sixth grade, and she like scared me so much. Shame all over you. Yeah. That's what she said every she day. Said, yeah. I yeah, hated in sixth point. grade how oh the, the teachers would teach you, like, straight up, like, kids. Like, I mean. Shame all over you. I, I, I mean, all I can see you. why they did, but, like, I was still. like. 
Oh, I forgot to throw the paper. Uh, one of the best memories is going to Miss Brown's class every day and seeing her gigantic tits. All right, you're all serious. <laughs> like my my best memory? Yes, yeah, worse. Nothing ever happened. The most exciting thing was the thing with the the boobs. That's that's all that's ever happened to me in my life. Like, mm -hmm. and then you came here. Like that happened just like five minutes ago. Really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was just out in the front yard and I saw my first boobs and. I my, walked up here with the vlog. What about boobs. your worst memory? Um. Oh yeah, one time in sixth grade, I was going to PE, and it was like raining or whatever outside, like barely. So I like cut through. So you executed the teacher. Yeah, I did that, <laughs> and then I cut through, and there was a puddle. So I tried to like do my little like skip jump right, over yes. it, and I landed in the puddle, and like water got directly on my crotch, and it looked like I pissed myself all day, and I had to walk around school like that. I got some dribble on my pants this, this morning taking the ACT. Dribble? I, after, I, I dribbled a little. I didn't. I didn't. Like, no, <laughs> no, not dribble, dribble. <laughs> not dribble, dribble. Not dribble, dribble, just dribble. Just dribble. Was like, uh, yeah, just like dribble. I, I was peeing. Really, like, I had to pee so bad after the math portion of the test. I went and peed, and I thought, I mean, I thought I was shook enough. But, <laughs> but I didn't. Not, but I didn't. I zipped up, I turned around, and I see myself in the mirror. And I, I see I see a little bloop bloop for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go, uh, uh and I like I like walked out into the hallway and like kinda like went to the water fountain and got some water. I didn't know what my plan was. Cause I like it was very noticeable. I didn't know I was like and so I was like, okay, I'll just go back into the bathroom and go into the stall and dry it off in toilet paper. Which I did and it worked. So right. and that was just today. <laughs> that was today, that was this morning. <laughs> One horrible memory was like in PE in high school, we'd always have to wear like those True. uniforms, and they were like really short on the pants. And terrible. like, it was just horrible. And one day I like wore boxers for a change, so I always wear tight underwear. And like the boxers like messed up because they were, had to somehow like fit them because the boxers were longer than the pants. And so, like, it made me look like I had a like really small boner. And so, like, a bunch of girls were, like, laughing at me, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I just got made fun of for the, like, rest That's of the terrible, movie. John. It was terrible. You should have just whipped it out and just showed the world. You should have just showed like, them what? how much you really had. No, they were just getting too excited because they've never seen oh, it. Oh, so, so they liked it. I <laughs> should uh, my sixth grade math teacher. What? Yeah. Yeah. Miss me Jenkins? First <laughs> <laughs> thing about middle school was being fat. That was bad. You were fat? I was fat. When is it going to end? Was it everybody fat? Hey, I, fat. Was, <laughs> that I was, was so fat. fat. <laughs> Me and Pearson were fat. We had pictures of us together, like, <laughs> looking fat. <laughs>